Hey, hey guys, and we have once again a lot of stuff that arrived from China just recently, last week. Uh, and let's take a closer look what is this, because, well, eventually you will be interested since this is the FT1500 generator, which is down right now. And I mean, uh, we have here a new wind wheel for it, because it was waiting for it. <clears throat> Let me tell you, tell you of the ship that I was going to, that I planned about half a year ago. And finally it arrived. Uh, I wanted to change my, at that time, existing FT2000L2 to the better FT2000L2. <laughs> How, you will say. And I mean, this one is 96 volt. I mean, this is the FT2000L2, the generator box and everything. And this is the, these are the blades for it. But they are, oh, uh, where to show you? Yeah, here is the sticker. You see, rated voltage is 96 volts. Uh, and that's the difference that it will make uh, to make it work so much better because it will have a wider range to work with. Uh, and I mean, for that, I also needed a different controller. I mean, I mean, it is exactly the same LHCM controller like I've been showing you before, like I've been using before. But this one in, in difference in contrary is the not boost only. This one is boost and buck, which means it has a much wider voltage range to work with. Uh, it can work literally from 3 volts uh, up to 180, not up to like 60 as it was on the pure boost mode. And if you will take a pure buck mode, it will be only like from 50 something up to 180. So, I mean, from 3 to 180, I mean, that's a hell of a range. <clears throat> and that what made me thinking that what if... What if I can apply to the FT2000L2, which is, by the way, looking very good in the box. I mean, they haven't changed any of the packaging here yet. So the only thing that you see different is that the tail is flat now. There is no that step like it used to be before. But, I mean, let's get to that a little bit later. So the only thing that I was curious, what if... I can put on this wind turbine, which is standard, was at that time 3.2 meters in diameter. Uh, what if I can put something bigger, like 3.46? Here they are. And uh, the other thing happened. As you may clearly see, the blade length is not 1550 anymore. So whatever standard of T2000 will be from now on supplied with uh 1500 blades so this means that the wind will diameter will be 3.1 and well uh yeah since the hubs and everything matches across the lower the smaller l series of the ft2000 ft2000 ft1500 and ft1000 this is the 1500 so uh, they are cross changeable i mean easily you just look just like reapply the wind will here and there like i did in one of my videos earlier so I thought that why not to take the standard wind wheel? I thought it would be 3.2, but okay, 3.1 now. Uh, what if I take this one and apply it to that generator, which is 96 volts already and which can work? But again, I will need the boost and buck controller for it. Uh, and I'm having Ukrainian one. Uh, it will be arriving likely in a week or maybe two. Let's see. And to the FT2000, I'm applying the bigger blades. Hmm. And, well, that's how it is. That's how it is. So let me slowly unpack it and unfold everything and tell you even a little bit about the mistakes that the Chinese did. So what we have in standard FT2000 and what we have <clears throat> in standard in the controller. And how are just the blades supplied? Because the blades, you can order just the blades or you can have them with the full package, with the hub and cone and, 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 and all the bolts and nuts, right? So... Give me a second, I will unpack it all, and here we'll, I will show you all the story. So here it is all. So let's start with the with the closer and let's move further. So first of all, controller, as I told you. I mean, it's really easily detachable. I mean, um, very easily, no, no, no issues with that. Let me show you a couple of things of LHCM controller which you should be interested in. So first of all, metallic brackets on the breaker, not like the plastic breaking ones on the WWS. So this is good, this is very good. Uh, now take a look how everything is neatly and nicely organized. What kind of uh, bar 
uh, do we have for connections used here on the entry, right? So, I mean, this is something, this is really good. And by the way, in my case, I have the no solar version. As you may clearly see, there is no solar uh, terminals, only for battery and only for wind, because, it, well, it makes like it 10 bucks cheaper, so whatever. And I don't plan to use any solar, so why? Uh, it just cost me like to write one message to exclude solar from there. And I mean, uh, obviously you will not be able to tell the difference if this one is buck or boost or buck and boost. Uh, they literally visually are kind of similar to anyone who isn't knowing, but this one is buck and boost. So just trust me. I've already measured the resistance. It's, it's 0 0.7 ohm, but you have to know, you have to understand that this controller applies the power very gradually. It doesn't really like pushes the turbine and, and, and gets everything into it uh, that it has. I mean, so this is really good thing. Now the blades, and this is where the interesting part, part, part comes. So this is the 3.46 blades. This is how they were supplied. I already took out one. Uh, and well, I mean, this is the standard blades, which are for FT2500 or 2500. Um, and I mean, why I'm showing you this, because like, well, this is, this is really, really important thing to know. So 25.5 or maybe even 26 uh, centimeters is the widest part of it. And on the tip of a blade, we have almost nine centimeters, eight point half, definitely. And I mean, that's a lot. Because what I can tell you, I cannot show it to you, but I can tell you that I, at that same day, I had the same box, but for four meter diameter, right? So 195 blades. And there, this thing was shorter. It's 25, not 26. And this thing was also shorter. It was 7.5, not 8.5. And that is interesting because, well, I mean, this small blade, smaller blade has got a really good surface area. And that's, um, that's something. That's already something. So probably I would say that the FT2500 is the best in class uh, of those bigger L-series. Same as uh, FT2000 is the best in smaller L-series from, from the 1000, 1500 and 2000. 2000 is the best one. That's my claim. And in here, given the blades, I haven't seen the gens because of obviously they are different and there are models like to 2500, there is 3000 L1 with 3.7 diameter, and there is 3000 L2 with 4 meter diameter. And I have seen the blades only, and I mean, these blades, the smallest ones are the best. That's what, uh, that's what I can say definitely. Um, the hub is different there, very different. So let me take you the hub uh, from the smaller L series, which is L2. And let me show you in comparison with the bigger one. So you can definitely see, size is very much different. Um, so is so is this connection plate, and so is the cone. And I mean, obviously they won't match. Obviously, no 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 way no way you can connect them uh, all together. Absolutely no way. Uh, and the cone here is now made of uh, not now it's always been made uh, out of fiberglass uh, on the bigger units and on the smaller units it's already plastic like it had been already on my uh, 1500 unit and same it's now on 2000 it's already plastic uh, and i don't know uh, i mean it's okay absolutely um, i don't care plastic is fine for me so no issues with that but the other thing uh, that I had uh, in mind to show you is to compare this kind of bigger blade with the smaller blade. So this is for 3.46 meters in diameter and this one is for 3.1. And this is the new blade they have. And here the size is, oh, let's measure in the same, exactly the same, same situation. So this size is now 22. And on the tip of a blade, it's really thin in comparison it's how much 6.5 mil uh, centimeters so 65 mil um well yes we have what we have so that's a smaller blade obviously and the other important thing i wanted to show you i mean i am lucky because these drills these holes are drilled improperly uh, they do not match this new hub yeah you see it's impossible to match them right 
absolutely no way absolutely no way they won't fit but they match absolutely perfectly the smaller hub yeah you see the difference and I mean that's that's kind of lucky for me I haven't checked how they will fit exactly on on this exact uh, on this exact hub but I by I believe they will um, and this is good thing for me because I plan to do so so this mistake actually cost them nothing uh, the only thing is that uh, well Jessica told me in, in time after it was shipped that oh we did this mistake what can we do and I mean well okay supply me a new hub I mean like this one because eventually I plan to use this hub on that generator but I won't be able to fit them because the conical and the shaft the diameters don't match as well I plan to use the kind of a um, interchangeable how do you call it uh, internal like transmitter transformer <laughs> whatever so it will be additional uh, additional element that will be just like put onto the onto the hub and it will fit into these uh, no onto the shaft and into the cone into into in, in, into the hub so i mean uh, while she sent me it will should be arriving early next week uh, as early as Monday, Tuesday, I don't know. Uh, the the hub, the, the, this one hub with the exactly drilled holes up to this position. And uh, also she will send me one additional standard hub for the 2000 series. Uh, just because, well, I don't know how to figure out which one works best. Um, and I hope I will be able to assemble both of wind turbines. The max I'm losing is probably I will just have to order one more cone. Or no, maybe I can apply this one. It'll be just slightly bigger. Um, who cares? Like, I don't care, definitely. But, I mean, I will definitely be able to assemble this unit. Uh, I am already confident that it will work. And it will be working absolutely fine. So, yeah. Let's go to the generator. So, a couple of other things I haven't shown you on the standard FT2000 uh, model now and how is it different in this year from the previous one. Because, I mean, I used to have one, you have probably seen the videos, which is, uh, I mean, they are available on the channel, of course. But, I mean, this is the new version. And in older version, like on this one, you see how the ending of the tail is made, right? It's made to fold because here in this place it is made to be foldable it is a foldable tail and with this since there is the angle you see how the tail plate is bent to match it exactly to be facing uh, I mean this thing and this thing will be exactly vertical and uh, since th this piece is uh, with with the, with the shift but here on the new kind of rod it doesn't have any kind of that stuff and same applies to the generator so the generator body is very very different oh, come on. it's not easy to do this you see so probably I will have to just hammer it down and screw it with the bolt and I mean they applied a thread already here which wasn't before uh, and uh, it will just like be holding and that's it so this is not a foldable tail anymore and year, earlier on, if you remember, there was the eccentric, so the turbine's body was shifted. I mean, the axis of rotation was approximately here in this place, as you may clearly see here. Right? It is shifted. It is not centered. Because on this side, it is. Uh, this is where the location of it is. But here, it is still fully centered. So, I mean, and for the balance... For the overall balance of working of this unit, it will be, I believe, so much better. Um, Size-wise. Size-wise. So the generator length of 2000 model is, let's say, 23. In total, I'm just like measuring the total length. Nothing specific. And this one, this is the 1500. It is obviously very smaller. It is 20. So, I mean, size matters, you know. So, more magnets, more coil, more iron. Altogether, it will give you more electricity. It's very obvious, it's a very easy and obvious assumption. So, they still supply the flange, which is in, in there. Uh, bolts and nuts to connect the tail, to connect the blades, and to connect the... Uh, what is this? 
yeah that's a long one to connect uh, the detail rods and and the flange bolts and of course ah you see ha ah, come on here <laughs> here they have this press pressure washer so I will use one to actually that bolt <laughs> I already have it that's a lucky thing oh how lucky I am anyways um, about the blades you have seen it already I mean they are packed very very nicely they they are all oh, let me take this one let me move it aside they are all packed very very cool in, 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 in the brackets so to say and I mean it arrives I mean I already like disturbed all this so you don't, don't take a close look but uh, what the only thing that I can uh, warn you about that since this tailboard was sitting at, at, at the top and the blades were like every one in its position but the top one it was slightly moving in this position and yeah this is what you get a little bit of scratches I mean I don't care much but I mean you have to be aware that this thing may happen unless they do something with the packaging maybe a few extra wraps uh, will help with this but I mean it was wrapped really cool I mean I, I put all, the, all this stuff in there uh, it was wrapped pretty nice but who knows uh, it maybe depends on just like the workers who was doing the wrap on, 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 on his on his exact uh, mood at that exact time so you never know you cannot automate these things um what else? Uh, I don't know what else to show you guys here. Uh, we will have to see it in the wind. Ah, yeah, I didn't show you the tailplate itself. So the tailplate itself uh, is just a tailplate. Aluminum, I think 2 mil, should be 2 mil. Uh, four lines, I probably will be using the last two only. Who knows, maybe three, maybe two, likely two. Because while well, I am applying a much bigger blade, well, not much, but bigger, so still, <coughs> I, I need to ensure it will be working properly. I mean, the tail has to be long enough uh, to to actually work absolutely nicely. I mean, it will not break, it will not like uh, move whatever. Uh, but yeah, I will likely use the two uh, bolts only. So yeah, this is it for now. What can I add you additionally? Uh, I mean, links, yeah, I will give you the link to the wind turbine in this exact view in the description. Just bear in mind that that price that you will see there will be DDP price, delivery duty paid. So, I mean, if you need, if you have any kind of a, your local uh, forwarder, just like ask the seller, as it always is in on Alibaba, to give you the local delivery price. I mean, it just like always matters. So, whoever pays the taxes and delivery, I mean, these things can be can be shifted or DDP deliver it to your door I mean that's a that's a very good offer as well uh, for the controller yes I will have to give you the link for the controller just like bear in mind the standard ones are LHCN which is a pure ballast type of controller or LHCM which can be pure boost pure buck or buck and boost and those three are very different those three are applicable for very different wind turbines and voltages so the boost one should be used with the 48 one the buck should be used with 96 or 121 and the book and boost and buck should be used in the whatever custom applications or whatever custom wide range if you want um yeah like like i do for example i mean I am doing the crazy stuff here. Nobody has ever done this before. I'm absolutely confident with this exact wind turbine. And even Jessica told me, no, 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 3.2 is the max. You cannot apply more. Believe me, I can. So we will see it all, how it will all be behave and how it all works and how it withstands everything. I mean, I know how to set it up. I know what kind of rotations I have to set to the, to, to the lim to limit the overspin, not to allow it. And I mean, I know what kind of voltages and how many amps these generators can withstand. So I'm absolutely confident I'll be able to get from this generator 3.5, 4 kilowatts easily without even breaking it, without burning anything. So we will see it all in time. But not today not in this video for now it's everything and i believe if you have any comments left shoot them if you have any questions left shoot them i will see you in the next one oh don't forget to subscribe like whatever i mean i'm always forgetting to say this so yeah bye now